Brazing is a distinctive process in cross-flow aluminium heat exchanger with plates and bars technology produced by OS. It's a metal joining process in which two or more materials are joined when the filler metal passes into the liquid state and wets the surfaces to be assembled. And we can represent it in a simplified way through a toast. The material with a lower melting point, in this case the melted cheese, penetrates in the inner side of the bread, which are porous, and then, cooling down, joins the two slices that instead do not melt. The addition of any ingredient would compromise the merging of the two slices. This simple example helps us to understand why, considering things as bread and plates as cheese, it is very important to wash all the components carefully, removing any kind of impurities before the braising process. During the operation, the molten filler metal flows into both surfaces of the plate through rolling or spraying. The clad is composed of an aluminium alloy containing a higher percentage of magnesium and silicon. The silicon provides a lower melting point than other aluminium components. When the clad melts and wets, the surrounding surfaces by a capillary action and compression. There are different types of brazing. In the control atmosphere brazing process, called CAB, the joint parts are wetted by a water solution with aluminium particulates. During heating, the water evaporates and the aluminium particles melt on the other surfaces. This process, known as knock is fast and continuous and suitable to produce large quantities of radiators for light applications, such as automotive sector. This technology, however, is not suitable for fluids that are affected by the presence of impurities. In OSE, we use a vacuum aluminium brazing called VAB, which allows us to remove impurities and magnesium released during the melting phase. It is a batch process, ideal to produce medium quantities of heat exchangers used in heavy-duty applications. The goal in the cooler production is to create a chamber between plates and bars and to join these components to obtain a hermetically sealed channel. Inside the channel there are fins to optimize the exchange surface, guarantee the high gas heat exchange and ensure solidity and high mechanical resistance to internal working pressures. By layering several channels we obtain the core of a compact heat exchanger. Through the brazing process, we tightly join this part in a single unit.